NASA Gym 108. In 2008, the YouTube channel NASA Gym 108 uploaded its first video, entitled Dying NASA Scientist Reveals Truth About Life on Mars. The video begins with the voice of Jim, distorted for his own protection, stating that he was an aeronautic research engineer for NASA from 1989 to 2004, and had recently been diagnosed with terminal bone cancer. Jim claimed to want to share his knowledge before passing. With approximately five months to live, Jim created a number of videos, some of which were to be released by his attorney following his death. Jim's videos would claim to provide proof of a race of subterranean Martians, which he called the Greys, and a secret plot to conceal them from the world. According to Jim's videos, the aliens possess telepathy and the ability to implant thoughts into the minds of humans. He alleges that they have no empathy and no hesitation when it comes to killing. Other videos claim to show how to neutralize an alien, contain footage of an alien parasite inside of a human host, and reveal audio recordings of one of the greys. Yet another video contains a disturbing call from an extremely agitated NASA employee who threatens Jim's life and insists that he immediately stop releasing his videos. Following Jim's death, the videos continued to be released by his attorney at a company called Lorber and Jacob, as per his instructions. But after an exchange of legal threats from Jim's family, the channel eventually went dormant. When the restraining order expired in October 2008, the videos returned, but a shift in the nature of the content sparked suspicion as to the channel's true origin. One of the new videos was introduced by a creepy puppet named Little Hobo. Eagle-eyed internet sleuths recognized the puppet character from other videos posted to the comedy website Funny or Die, and a connection was established between NASA Jim and the American comedian Duncan Trussell. Investigations by YouTuber Rainbot established further connections between NASA Jim and collaborators on Trussell's previous works. The podcast Stuff They Didn't Want You To Know even figured out that the voice of NASA Jim was remarkably similar to that of Trussell when digitally altered. Trussell himself, however, has confirmed nothing, and the truth behind NASA Jim remains a mystery. Petscop This is to prove to you that I'm not lying about this game I found, says Paul, a YouTube Let's Player, in the ominous introduction to his video about a supposedly long-lost PlayStation game he claims to have found. The game, Petscop, is seemingly designed as a child-friendly puzzle platformer from a company called Garolina. The player controls an odd green creature named Guardian and is tasked with solving puzzles to capture unusual creatures referred to in the game as pets. At first, the game progresses in a manner quite typical of a 1990s PlayStation game. But as Paul continues exploring, it gradually falls into an unsettling liminal space. The game and video itself, with Paul's oddly calm narration, create a sense of unease. Paul ultimately finds the game to be unfinished and largely unplayable. Only when he follows specific instructions that he says came on a note he received with the mysterious game does he manage to progress. The note read, quote, I walked downstairs, and when I got to the bottom, instead of proceeding, I turned the right and became a shadow monster man. Further instructions on the note, dated June 13, 1997, contain a cheat code that leads Paul into a dark, hidden area of the game, featuring a large network of interconnected underground tunnels. This newly discovered area, known as Newmaker Plain, is pitch dark, with the exception of a solitary player-focused spotlight. It was in this mysterious area that the true, chilling nature of Petscop began to reveal itself. As Paul continued exploring the game in more videos, he found that it seemed to have been designed for one specific person, a person who apparently had done something terrible. Petscop features numerous disturbing references to rebirthing, a pseudoscientific practice that attempts to cure attachment disorders and has led to the death of numerous people, as well as various other unsettling motifs and horrific allusions to abuse and corruption. Furthermore, Paul began to notice strange similarities between elements of the game and his own life. When he came to realize that the landmarks in the dark area of Petscop corresponded with some real-world locations, he decided to visit one. Paul was never seen again. It was only after 30 months and 24 installments of Paul's Petscop exploration that the creator of this chilling series, Tony Domenico, took to Twitter to confirm its fictional nature. Some fans remain unconvinced. Marble Hornets In June 2009, a post on the Something Awful forum described a collection of mysterious, unlabeled tapes, once part of an abandoned student film project. The tapes were held by a man named Jay, who was a close college friend of the film's director, Alex Crayley. 
An introductory video from Jay followed, explaining that over the three months of making the student film, Alex's crew had complained about his, quote, increasing levels of stress and irritability. Alex ultimately never finished the project, and for reasons that were unknown at the time, Alex requested the tapes be burned and never seen. However, Jay persuaded Alex to allow him to keep the tapes, and soon after handing them over, Alex moved away and was not seen or heard from again. It was suspected that Alex had been unable to overcome whatever had haunted him on his student production. Jay made the first Something Awful post after he rediscovered the tapes, promising to upload anything of interest to a YouTube channel he named Marble Hornets, the title of the student film it was once intended to be. The clips posted to YouTube, which ranged between a few seconds to 25 minutes in length, pieced together the story of how Alex was tormented by a mysterious figure known as the Operator during the production of his film. Alex had apparently developed severe paranoia and coughing fits as a result of constantly being stalked, both on and off the film set. Later videos would show terrifying glimpses of the Operator, which closely resembled the infamous Slender Man, lurking in the background of videos filmed at Alex's home. Jay's exploration of the tapes eventually drew the attention of the Operator, and he's forced to set up a surveillance system when he starts to believe the Operator is now stalking him in real life. These events push Jay to continue his investigations, which take him from the Marble Hornets' filming locations to the abandoned homes of ex-crew members. Ultimately, Jay decides to set out in search of Alex. Over time, the videos posted to Marble Hornets were revealed to be a work of fiction, created by Troy Wagner and Joseph DeLage. This did not stop the channel from becoming one of YouTube's most successful web series, long before such things were commonplace. The story and imagery continue to be influential on social media, and newcomers to the Marble Hornet series still find themselves haunted. Alan Tutorial Few would contest the seemingly pointless nature of many online videos, and at first glance one could be forgiven for assuming that the videos posted by the Alan Tutorial channel starting in 2014 are equally inane. However, a closer look at the videos reveals the minutely detailed documentation of a man's mental deterioration. Despite such absurdly monotonous titles as How to Do a Pull-Up and How to Tweet on Twitter, Alan's videos, which range between a few seconds and a few minutes in duration, have garnered millions of views. The Alan in the videos appears to be reclusive, obsessive, needy, and perpetually terrified. He also seems to be suffering a progressively disturbing mental breakdown. Initially, Alan shows his viewers how to accomplish a range of pointless and mundane tasks, including crushing a can, using pieces of wood, and filling a small box with dirt. However, just as one begins to wonder who this odd individual is and why he would bother to create this content, unsettling occurrences begin to unfold off-screen. In one video, Alan is interrupted by an abrupt, loud knock at the door. In the following video, he appears to be locked in a cramped space, perhaps a closet, and he frames this as a tutorial on how to hide. As the eeriness of the tutorials and the intensity of the off-screen happenings progress, Alan's fear grows, and he suffers a violent, frenzied episode, flying into a rage and destroying his home. He becomes locked out and stranded in the wild, where he continues to post his bizarre tutorials, including a video of Alan throwing lighter fluid onto a fire. Alan is soon captured under mysterious circumstances, and finds himself confined to a disgusting cell where both the rationality of his videos and his mental condition deteriorate even further. He continues to record videos, which are dominated by darkness and make little sense. Most disturbingly, the videos begin to show off glimpses of a strange, unidentifiable, possibly organic life form spinning mysteriously inside his cell. Alan's fear and desperation overcome him until he ultimately musters the strength and resolve to break out of his cell. In the final video, Alan is last seen crawling out through a small hole to possible freedom. Created by the American comedian Alan Resnick, the Alan Tutorial Channel's 66 videos depict a fictionalized version of Resnick, while serving as a metaphorical and satirical exploration of the interaction between social media and mental health. Kane Pixels, The Backroom's Found Footage In 2019, when one message board user posted a request for a quote, disquieting images that just feel off. Nobody knew that it would spawn what has been hailed as some of the creepiest videos on the internet. Images of the back rooms, a liminal and apparently infinite spatial phenomenon, began to appear online, and a mythology quickly formed around them. The back rooms are an endless maze of rooms, which appear to have once been an office environment. According to the first back rooms image post, 
The space features monochromatic yellow fluorescent lights, which produce a dizzying buzz. Also characteristic of the back rooms is the description of an ever-present smell of damp carpet. Stories began to emerge of various levels to the back rooms, as well as the entities that inhabit them. In early 2022, a found footage video emerged and quickly went viral. The back room's found footage video shows a camera operator who winks in a strange building, apparently from the mid-90s, which appears to be infinite and impossible to escape. It features all the hallmarks and characteristics of the infamous backrooms myth. The protagonist attempts to navigate the endless rooms and corridors, which are soaked in nauseating fluorescent lights, until he eventually finds a message on the wall. Don't move. Stay still. Moments later, he is pursued by a chilling creature, tall and twisted, yet terrifyingly humanoid. The entity recorded in this found footage is particularly frightening in terms of both its appearance and the sounds it makes. Created by the special effects artist Kane Pixels at the age of just 16, this video has spawned various other non-linear installments and has terrified millions of people in an incredibly short period of time. As the popularity of the back rooms continues, it looks to become one of the most terrifying, enduring, and influential pieces of internet folklore. Thank you for watching Dark Five. Don't forget to like and subscribe to continue exploring the greatest mysteries of this world and beyond. Your support and engagement help my videos get seen by even more people. And let me know if you want me to continue to investigate creepy internet lore 